Shana and I moved to Lake Tahoe seven years ago in August 2013 with the goal to reach out and be there for every Jew that lives here and the many visitors that come here year round and to connect them to the Torah and the mitzvot. Shabbat wasn't part of our childhood. We didn't even know what it really was until a fellow by the name of Morty and his wonderful wife and eventually four children came about seven years ago and made a difference in the sense that it brought us back to my childhood where the family used to get together frequently in San Francisco and we hadn't had that for many, many years. And what you did is you introduced us to your home, your food, your family, and a way of life that was long gone in our past. We cherish that and I think you people are very dear. I started developing a relationship with Rabbi Richler and Shaney and uh, I come here regularly for Shabbat services. Rabbi and I study, are in the midst of studying Tanya and uh, developing a really nice and close relationship. And I think the difference between the conservative movement that I'm involved in and, and Chabad and Rabbi Richler is, uh, you know, there's a one-on-one -on -one connection. You know, I come from a shul of 2,500 people where there's no way the rabbi could spend the individual time that Rabbi Richler has been able to spend with me, which I greatly appreciate. Morty and Shana in our community. They do so much for so many. We love having them here and we love supporting them. And we especially love the family and the girls and little baby Zip. Shabbat Shalom, thank you so much. You have recreated a community. Uh, we knew in Tao, well, this person might be Jewish or is Jewish or whatever. And somehow you have identified a community that we did not see and feel before you came into to town. I mean, you guys have really brought together a wonderful community. Um, I really enjoyed the cooking times. I really enjoy the Shabbat too. And realize that there's so many Jews up here that we didn't even know. I walk away feeling a connection to a heritage and the Shabbat dinners give me that. The food is good, the company is lovely, and I leave there, as I said, Shabbaticized. I met Morty through a friend who um, told me about a class he was having. I decided to join that class and take the lessons that he was giving, and then I was introduced to his beautiful wife, Shana, who gave cooking lessons and taught us how to make challah and uh, I fell in love with them because I feel they're very Hamish and they're very down to earth and I've enjoyed knowing them and taking their lessons and, and the cooking classes that Shana gives. And she also teaches while she gives classes, which is wonderful. Uh, Chabad creates more of a community. So instead of simply going to synagogue and going through the motions, there's more of a community where most of us feel connected to one another. When people come, everybody's welcoming. We're welcoming with strangers. If I bump into a Jewish person on a hike or out and about, I, I feel very comfortable inviting them to, to Chabad and know that they'll feel welcome. When I was first starting Chabad and after services at the marina, we went with the rabbi to his house and we used to learn all about, more about the, um, Judaism. I did have my bar mitzvah at Chabad of Lake Tahoe. Getting the tefillin from my bubby and having the rabbi order the tefillin and actually receiving the tefillin, putting it on, putting on my, my Zadie's talus was all very, very meaningful to me. Two years ago, my husband passed away unexpectedly. I was, of course, bereft and seeking some kind of a spiritual path as when I was introduced to the rabbi and his family. I was invited to a Shabbat, Shabbat dinner uh, on a Friday night. I was a little apprehensive about attending. Growing up in San Francisco, the rabbis are held up on such a, a pedestal. To think of going to their house or conversing with them on a personal basis was really something. But the minute I walked into the Rickler's home, I, I felt like I was with family. When I was six to 10, it was the Second World War. When I heard about the Holocaust and how six million Jews died, it's tragic to see our people go and slaughtered they were the way they were. And we needed something to guide us back so we wouldn't have to be afraid 
and fearful of the next Holocaust or racial discrimination. And Shavad was brave enough to come together and bring us Jews back to give us the kind of life we used to have, including how to take care of family, how to take care of friends, how to be close to each other, how to share love and affection, and to bring us into their homes and our homes so that we can live the kind of life that we all deserve. And the synagogue in itself is just a temple, but it's the people inside that make the difference. And it doesn't matter where we're at, whether Morty is outside camping or in the house with the family, it's all there for us to see. So we know it's never the building, it's not an inanimate object, it's the people that give so much of who they are. And I hope more people can share that with us today and tomorrow. The main thing to them is to get Jews together, which is in following, as my understanding now is that's what the Rebbe was all about. That's what his shulchan were all about. We're bringing uh, Jews together in a community and it, and it didn't matter of the level of their observance. Uh, no, it's just, uh, just a wonderful community. Probably one of the coolest things is the camping trip that we have every year. One of the things I really appreciate about Chabad is that they are very involved with Israel. That's really important to us. Support. And it's important to the survival of the Jewish people. I fell in love with them because I feel they're very Hamish. The Jewishness I had I would, made me more proud and it made me so happy to know that I could learn so much more. But because of the Holocaust, we have to know who we are and stand up and say, I am a Jew. And Chabad brings it to people who really aren't interested in being involved with Judaism, but it brings them to touch where their ancestors came from. The community, the family, and uh, the fact that uh, you are so integrated within this uh, community in tow has absolutely been wonderful. And I love the getting together with the other women of the community and, and learning how to bake uh, challah and, and cookies and, and all different types of things. It, it feels like a nice, a big family. The Lubavitcher Rebbe, the reason why Morty and I moved out here, taught us that each and every one of us are a stakeholder in this awesome project of making this world a brighter place, of exposing the goodness within each and every person. A chassid once asked the Rebbe, Rebbe, what is a chassid? The Rebbe responded, a chassid is a lamplighter. A lamplighter is one that goes around with the torch and lights every lamp that is on his route. The chassid asked, what if the lamp is far out in the desert or in the mountains? So the Rebbe responded, well, then too, one must put their sneakers on, go out and light those lamps. The Rebbe teaches us not just to live an inspired life, but to go out and inspire others and ignite the souls of all those around us. Mazel Tov for our seven years in Chabad of Lake Tahoe. Mazel Tov to you in Lake Tahoe. Happy anniversary. Wow, Mazel Tov, congratulations. I love you guys. All of you. Mazel tov to Chabad of Lake Tahoe, and I'm looking forward to seeing more. Mazel tov to Rabbi Morty and Rabbi Tzin Shana for bringing Jewish life to Tahoe and continuing with their very strong Jewish community and keeping Tahoe Jewish. So I'd like to extend uh, a huge Mazel tov to Rabbi Richler and Shaney um, on their seventh anniversary here. We look forward to the weekends where we can go to a Shabbos dinner at the Rickles. It's just really, you know, very enjoyable. I want to wish Baba Modi and Shana all the success that they've ever wished for. The last seven years have been great. Mazel tov. <laughs> You've really added a lot to my life. Just a warm, a warm part of my life, and I'm very grateful that you're here. Mazel tov on seven years. I think it's wonderful. I just wish you and Chabad, happiness. Mazel Tov. Here in our community, we strive to create a setting where Judaism is experienced with pure love and joy. We have the responsibility and the privilege to achieve this, one mitzvah at a time. Mori and I feel so honored to have the opportunity to be able to serve this beautiful, supportive, and warm community here in Tahoe. The Rebbe teaches us to keep on going, not to be satisfied with the things that we have done, but to look at and see 
how much more we can do. The wonderful work you do. I'm, I'm not satisfied that only continue. You can see in the attempt to increase. Well, we'll be satisfied if you continue. No, not I, I, am, I am not satisfied. Not only about me. <laughs> it's not uh, about you also. <laughs> if you continue all the same thing, it's just the every living thing must grow. So L'chaim to seven years, we're excited, looking forward to the bright future of tomorrow.